Ladies and gentlemen, I am French Shy Pearson and welcome to my channel. It is March 20th of 2024 at 9.31 p.m. I will post this tomorrow morning. There was a meeting today with our beloved mayor of Chicago, Brandon Johnson, and the people spoke. The people come and they have meetings with this mayor and their voices have fallen on deaf ears, especially when it comes down to immigration. If I tell you that I believe this mayor, Brandon Johnson, and my governor, Prickster, have bought into a new world order plan, what would you say? And if I said to you that the majority of mayors and governors around the United States have bought into a new world order plan of which in part allowing cities to be sanctuary cities. And trust me, there's good cop, bad cop. Don't you believe everything you hear from Governor Abbott? He's in the game too. Like I said earlier, he's disrespecting my city. You talk to the people. I don't care what the governor and mayor say. Ask the people. We don't want it because it's illegal. You are breaking the law. You break the law. You disrespect the Constitution and we the people. It's, it's, just, it's just as simple as that. Stop being so weenie minded and liberal Americans. This crazy education indoctrination that you're getting in school has whacked your brain. Stand for something. Stand for something. Or you won't have anything in the future. What about your kids? Biden is breaking the law and so are these so-called leaders. But why are they doing it is the larger question. Why are they doing it? Why are they doing it? I told you. It's a new world order plan. Disrespect the Constitution, disrespect our educational system, disrespect our finance, disrespect police, law and order, disrespect the social order, and to bring nothing but chaos and confusion to mirror what happened between a former president and a president read between the lines. On April 12th of 2024, there's a movie coming out. I told you about it. It's called Civil You Know What. Google it. And if you don't think they're utilizing this immigration, illegal, whatever you want to call it, situation, as a tool to bring on civil unrest, you better think. Americans, we grew up on John Wayne, Clint Eastwood, and all that. that, that, that that's, those are the movies. This is a war. This is a psychological war. This is war policy. We've been taken over. Y'all need to recognize. And they don't care. And they couldn't have pulled it off unless these people have pledged allegiance to a new world order system. A United Nations system. They weren't elected. They were selected. And now they're doing their bidding. But like somebody said in this video, of which I would put in the description, and when I tell you I could not find this anywhere else, I could not find this anywhere else. Shout out to Forbes, whether you like them or not. They're the only one who covered today's meeting with the mayor. The people spoke. They are tired. We are tired. This immigration thing has not worked. And like I said, the Governor Abbott and the situation over there in Florida, that governor, they playing good cop, bad cop. Everybody playing the game. Well, I'm going to ship them out from Florida. I'm going to ship them out from Texas. We stand on the Constitution. And we're going to send them on out to uh, Chicago and New York. Take that. We're, look, really, elect me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was all done. It's a sad show. It's done on purpose. To, to give you, 
to give you the impression that somebody is just and righteous. If they had any kahunas, they would have sent them back to Washington, D.C. on a bus in front of Washington, D.C. and wake Mr. Biden up if they had any kahunas. Let the church say amen. Stop playing, y'all. Stop playing. See through the game. These governors and mayors ain't serious. Shipping them around. Now they're in a trick bag. 30 days and 60 days and you're going to get out. They're playing games because they want chaos between them too. So that when they pull the plug on this social unrest, we can all be fighting each other. That's what it's all about. But I want you to hear, I digress, I want you to hear this poor lady. She cries her heart out to this mayor. And he don't give her, you know what, as far as I'm concerned. Not, not, and, and, and let, let me say this before I forget. There's a lady who said something here. She brought up, she says, all these aldermen and people here, y'all part of the boule. That's a black group, y'all. Look it up, the boule, part of secret societies. They're the ones that buffet all the uh, issues that real black people want to speak about. The so-called civil rights leaders and pastors and, and these fake politicians, they get these positions because so since they look like us, naturally we go to them thinking we're going to get a resolve, but we don't know. They really, they're puppets. They're working for the secret societies too. So one of these people, God bless her, called them out and said, y'all ain't nothing but y'all the boule. Y'all don't think the secret society thing is real. It's real. I said it's real. So listen to this lady, and I'll carry on from there. Good morning. I am a constituent of the Gage Park neighborhood. Since June, you decide to turn our park into a shelter. Our community is running lawless with legal, illegal Venezuelans taking over our streets. We feel like prisoners in our own homes. As a taxpayer, we can't even enjoy our own park anymore. We are unable to, talk, to take walks. Our amazing programs have been removed, especially for the disabled children that live near this park. We worked hard to improve our park, our neighborhood, but because of your irresponsible move, this is not impossible. Their illegal cars are parking on their residence permit street. They are selling food without permit, causing trouble. Causing trouble. And I go on and on. I'm going to tell you exactly what she said. Smoking weed. Other people who got on the microphone to give them like two minutes. Getting high. Drinking. Breaking in cars. Breaking in people's garages, litter everywhere, staying up at night. What the hell is going on? Why is it permitted? You gotta watch this. I'll put this in the in 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 in, in I got I'll put this in the description. It's talking about how the police come by, drive by, don't do nothing. We've been taken over, people. We have been taken over. And what they want in this, in this civil unrest, the WAR, you know what they want? They really want to clash with the police, too. That's what they want. They're going to do, they're going to do an Antifa and Black Lives Matter within the next 18 months here in America. That's what they're going to do. So they got this thing brewing. That's why they ain't doing nothing. At the same time, they're gonna turn on the illegals. And like one of the people said, you know, Al Capone and Microphone, one of them said, you know what? They're using y'all right now as tools to get this done, especially in the black community, destroying our community with these illegals. But at some point, she's saying, Alderman and Mayor Brandon Johnson, you're going to realize you will use because the power is going to turn on you too. 
I echo what she said. I said, I echo what she said. I can't believe some of these politicians are just so gullible, so dumb, so short-sighted. What does it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? What does it profit a man if you tear up his domain and you ain't got a place to lay your head? It's crazy out here, y'all. It's absolutely crazy. I want to know, does, does your city have hearings where the people speak? What has come of it? We need some help here in Chicago. I kind of regret. I should have ran for office back in the day. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I got half the man to get up in there and just fight. It's crazy in here. They done, taken over, they, they done took over this city. They done took it over. Maybe there's be some positive since Trump won Illinois, what, today. But the bottom line is, look, Chicago got to be gutted out from the rooter to the tutor. We got to recall this mayor and majority is all the, all the people. They have turned on us. If they have turned on you in your city, speak up. Put it in the comment section. We all, all on one accord when it comes down to sports. We need to be one on court about our politics. Our politics equals our domain. We got to stand up. They believe that they cannot be removed. That's what they believe. But let me tell you something. We serve a God that can deal with Pharaoh. I said we serve a God that would deal and can deal and has dealt with Pharaoh. Thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. All the king horses, all the king's men, they can tumble. You see, Satan did he running stuff. But we worship God in spirit and in truth. We don't fight this physical fight. The Bible says we fight against principalities and powers. We got to pray and endure and have a conquering spirit, a warlike spirit, and put the Holy Spirit to work and not look at this thing with our eyes, but believe and trust that God will make a way, even if they fall dead. I ain't got no problem with it. Because God killed what? At least what? A thousand soldiers. They washed up in the water, chasing the folk, when Moses separated the seas, I ain't got no problem with him dropping dead. I ain't got no problem with it. I ain't got no problem with it. I ain't got no. I said I ain't got no problem with it. Who you talking about, Pearson? I ain't gonna name. I ain't trying to get in trouble on the tube. But I ain't got no problem with bad folk dropping dead. None of them. Because they are killing and siphoning off positive oxygen, positive social, positive economic, all these millions of dollars you come up with out of nowhere. You gotta watch this video. These people are speaking, senior citizens, people on fixed elk, uh, income, handicapped veterans, homeless people that have been neglected for decades. And now you go ahead like a genie and you rub your magic bottle, Mr. Mayor. And you come up with millions of which some of it is misappropriated. There's one lady on here even saying allegedly, she says she got the facts that Governor Prickster, whose family owns the Hyatt Hotels, they hiring illegals left and right. What about the black folk? What about the poor folk, the poor white, the Hispanic? If there's any, any time, we all need to, to, to come together because they played the race game on us for decades. It's now. And every black you see, black person, ain't on your side. They part of the boule. They have sold out and they're selling you out. And anybody sell your city out, he ain't worth your vote and he sure ain't worth your time. My name is Trent Shot Pearson. I'm doing my thing. You do yours.
Hit the like button, share it. Let, the, let this thing grow. I had 100,000 views, 100,000 subscribers on my last channel. We can do it again and some. It's a fight and I know it. God got me in the fight for a reason. He got us in the fight. We got to endure until the end, until Jesus comes. Oh yeah, he coming. Make no mistake. He allowing this corruption to go down. But we fight until then. Because we got kids and we got pride and we got history. We're going to keep it real. Don't forget I got a book out. Yes, I do. Got a book out. Praise God, whom all blessings flow. Protect the gift. Yes, God sent his son. That whomsoever believe in him. For days like this shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Let the church say amen. Go to Amazon Books. Purchase a book. This book is a beautiful poetry book. Inspire humanity and uplift the name of our Lord and Jesus. Thank you again for being part of my new channel. Pass the word on. God bless you.